Hi everybody. Good day to all of you. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, the standard normal distribution um, as our lecture. In our earlier lectures, we have the enough introduction and the calculations about uh, the normal distribution in order to calculate uh, the area, the probability, the correlations among these two uh, using the uh, standard and normal distribution uh, we need this lecture. Okay, let me go back to uh, the rule directly. Let's recall the rule what you have studied in the earlier class. Um, the normal variate is that is equal x minus mu divided by sigma is a normal variate. Um, this is it is a normal variate. x is a random variable. Um, you will be given such a value. Sometimes you may be asked to find also uh, mu. You know very well the average and the sigma the standard deviation. Okay. So uh, by utilizing this rule, we are going to discuss now uh, how to find the different areas under the normal distribution, the standard normal distribution. As we discussed in the earlier class, uh, this is the normal distribution. Let's recall um, maybe to infinity minus infinity. This is the standard normal distribution. And hence uh, the variable is z over here. So this is z is equal to zero. Okay. So now um, this z is equal to zero. Uh, just think over it. When can we get z is equal to zero from here? Yes, Mister. Yes, please. You are absolutely right. Why you are hesitating? Be free. Z is equal to zero. When you get, if you put x is equal to mu put x is equal to mu so mu minus mu by sigma hence z is equal to zero so this point is nothing but x is equal mu the average so let's recall the properties of the this normal distribution the mean median and mode coincides at this point so this x is equal to mu mu we call it as a mean but it's an average okay the total area under the standard and normal curve is one the normal curve is symmetric it is of a bell shaped one so this side it will be 0 0.5 and this side it will be 0 0.5 this normal distribution we are going to calculate by using the table you will be given a table uh, which consists of the areas uh, under such a normal distribution the standard normal distribution um, like this okay from this table we have to find the area under the normal distribution or the required area for example, I have to find 0 to 1, the value of z, right? z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1. If I wish to find this area, how to find? Let's go to your table. This is z table. This is z value. In this z value, this is 1. 1.00 0. so the value is 0. 0.3413 if it is 1.3 is it is 1 here it is 1.3 1.30 if you are to find 1.33 this is 1.3 and this is 3 so 0 0.4099 is the area under the normal curve from z equal to 0 to z equal to 1. 
in such a way we have to find the areas uh, under the normal distribution from uh, uh, some particular point of visit to another particular point of visit. Note that this normal distribution table in any material will be given the values from 0 onwards. Okay. The normal distribution is symmetric. This consists of negative side. In your table, there will not be any negative values. It is because of the symmetricity, you can convert it to positive. Am I right? Good. Let us see how to find the different areas under this curve. So first I am going to find probability of 0 less than is it? Less than 2. Why I use the word probability now? Yes. Hammer. You're right. In the earlier class, we have discussed it. Eh? The total area under the normal distribution. That is one, right? This one can be given as the probability. We had a proof, right? Oh, good. Recall everything, huh? Good. Probability of zero less than is it less than two. I advise you to draw the diagram uh, whenever you are finding your different probabilities. So, this is your normal curve and uh, here it is z is equal to 0, here it is z is equal to 2, for example, you have to find the area or the probability whichever lies in this side. So, take your tables, normal tables. In the normal tables, find uh, is it equal to 2.00. 0. What do you have to do? 2.00. 0. That is, in the first column, 2.0. In the next one, 0. That's the first number. And uh, the value is 0. 0.4772. You can refer in your tables. You are having the tables in your hands, right? Uh, refer the table. I am right. 0 0.4772 is correct. Good. A simple mechanism behind this. The next one. <clears throat> find the next area. Probability of uh, uh, z is greater than 2. z is greater than 2. Find this area. How to find? Again, let's draw the diagram. So this A is the normal curve and in this normal curve this is z equal to 2 and this is z equal to 0. If you thought of going to a table <coughs> again to find the area then again you will be getting this 0 0.4772. But which area you need? You need this area right? z is greater than 2. This area you need. Yeah. This area you need. How to find? See, this one you already know. This area. What is this area? 0 0.4772. You find it here, right? Or you, you can find from your table. This area is 0 0.5. You know that. How to find? Yes, Anjad. Good. So, the probability of z greater than 2 is equal the total area 0 0.5 minus this area 0 0.4772. So what's the answer now? <clears throat> 8, 2, 2, 0, dot. Good. Okay. Let's calculate the, uh, another one. Probability of... Um, is it is less than 2. Probability of is it is less than 2. Uh, what's the answer? Let's uh, draw here. And this is z equal to 2. And this is z equal to 0. So what's the answer now? Easy. Yeah. You are rocking always. Our section is always rocking. Rocking, rocking, rocking. So this is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4772 from here to here. Totally 
0.72. Let's calculate the last probability in which we left with our uh, yeah, small workout probability of uh, uh, z lies between minus 2 to plus 2. Let's draw your chart. How to draw this? This way. This is from minus 2 to plus 2. So this probability can be split into um, positive side. 0 less than z less than 2. And uh, this is one time. Right? And another one is only we have from here to here. Right? So this is probability of minus 2 less than z less than 2. Since it is a symmetric one, you change this to positive side. So probability of 0 less than z less than 2 plus probability of 0 less than z less than 2. So it is 2 times of probability 0 less than z less than 2. And again it is 2 times. We only found such a probability over here. It is 0 0.4772 huh? which is equal to uh, 0. Uh, 4772, this is 4, this is 14, 519, right? Take it so, doesn't matter. And now, I left with the last one for you. Probability of uh, 1 less than is a less than 2. This is the workout sum today for you. Um, you please solve this and they send it through uh, our you're learning to me. Uh, with this, let me finish this lecture and we will be meeting on another lecture with another concept. Till that, meet you and bye bye. Have a nice day.